Hello, Gamer Nome is back. In this video, we're going to compare the gold fruit and the magnet fruit. For a start, you can show your support using Star Wars Gamer Nome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel. This will really help us make better videos. Where the actor slam on oh, the dancing forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so for those who don't know, King Legacy just updated and we have a new fruit, the gold gold fruit. And on the previous update, we have the magnet fruit. And I saw a comment on my previous Noob to Pro video, I should compare this fruit. So guys, again, just a reminder, the gold fruit is the new fruit, which means it might be too OP. Most likely, it will get nerfed. So we're gonna compare two accounts, same level, same stats. There you go. The previous account, I used this on my uh, previous Noob to Pro video on magnet fruit. And this one is on the gold fruit. So guys, I want you to notice the skill requirements, mass, I, not mastery, the stat requirement. There you go. Notice that the only difference is the second and the final skill. We will unlock Magnet Fruit's second skill first, but for the Gold Fruit, we will unlock the final skill first, okay? So let's compare the damage. First, let's check the Gold Fruit. For the Z skill, we got the Brilliant Shot. Check this out. There you go. Notice how fast it is and the cooldown, guys. Here it is. The cooldown is only 3 seconds. Not bad, right? For a skill. Okay, so moving on. The Axis skill, the 1 million punch. Guys, this skill has high damage output of 22,000. And for the cooldown, I'm gonna show it to you. Anyways, on the next skills, I won't be showing you the timer. It might take uh, much time to show you everything. Okay, so for the C skill, the Golden Roar. There you go. Damage is 10,000, cooldown 12 seconds. Moving on, V skill, Chain of Fate. Guys, damage is low, but it has a stun effect, and cooldown is 15 seconds. For the final skill, E skill, the Golden City. Guys, every enemy within its range will be hit by this skill. So, guys, single target, 20k damage with a cooldown of 20 seconds. So, game or how about in grinding? Guys, for multiple targets. Check this out, you can use the E skill to lure them. And it depends to you if you want to use your X or your C skill. Guys, the damage is too high for this fruit. There you go. Two skills to finish a quest. Single target enemies, boss fights. I'm gonna show it to you. Z skill. Okay. V skill for stun, X skill, and C skill. And that's it. We haven't even used the E skill, right? Gamer Nom, how about the magnet fruit? Okay, so we're gonna compare it now. First up, the Z skill, the Gatling Magnetoid. Guys, you need to hold for max damage. Check that out. Guys, did you see the damage? 15,000. Cooldown is 5 seconds. Not bad, right? Moving on, the Magnetic Cage X skill. There you go. The damage is not that high, but it has a stun effect or root. So guys, the enemy enclosed inside your cage, you can still damage it using your Z skill or any of your skills. It's kind of good for combos, right? Okay, moving on. C skill, the dual magnetize. Let's go. Boom. Damage is 10,000, guys. Cooldown is 9 seconds. Moving on. V skill, the superior solenoid. Here it is. There you go. Boom. Damage is 12,000. Cooldown is 12 seconds. Moving on. The final skill, gigantic magnetism, guys. Hmm. No doubt that this skill really looks good, <laughs> but the damage is kind of bad. Cooldown is 25 seconds. Okay, so for grinding, guys, not like the gold fruit. You need to lure them because check it out. This skill you can only suck two enemies. There you go, gigantic magnetism. So again, you're gonna lure them. Okay, and after that, you can use any skill you want. B skill or magnetic cage after that. And use your other skills. Actually, you don't need to use the B skill. Mostly for grinding because just one V. X and use your other skills that's enough to burst your enemies okay there you go so gamer now about single target enemies i'm gonna show it to you don't worry there it is okay x c and use all your skills and that's it okay that's enough to defeat your enemy oh not yet <laughs> actually guys this foot was already nerfed that's why the damage is kind of lower there you go okay guys so in the end gold has better damage output but Guys, Magnet Fruit can also be used as a good support fruit, right? When doing raids and doing boss fights. So guys, it really depends on the user. In the end, 
So what do you think? Please comment in the comment section and I hope that you enjoyed this video. And to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. It's Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out.